Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We continue our way through the Gospel of Mark. We are in chapter 6. Today we hear a very simple thing. Jesus summoned the 12 and began to send them out two by two. He gave them authority. Right there, in a sense, is the Christian life. We are summoned and we are sent, and we have the authority of Jesus Christ as baptized Christians. And so what all does that mean? There's a spiritual lesson that says we are called by God. God initiates relationship with us. God is the one who started it, and God waits for us. And God calls us to come to God. God calls us and summons us to be together with God. So there's a spiritual lesson that says, don't open the door to your own future. You allow God to open it for you. That doesn't mean we just sit there and do nothing. It means we are constantly looking and attentive and ready for where we are being summoned to by God. The American way is to make our own way. I do it myself. I'm going to forge my own path. In the Bible, that doesn't work so well. In the Bible, we find that we must be called by God. We must be doing God's path. If I'm doing my path, me, myself, and I, that's like the Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11, that the tower is going to crumble because it's not God's will and God's way. So I want to be summoned by God. Amos is the prophet for today, and he's not seeking to be a prophet. He's a simple shepherd. He's a tender of sycamore trees. And God looks at him and says, I'm going to call you to be a prophet, and I'm going to send you with authority. So even the people you would not even imagine, which means every single one of us, we've been called by God to do something for God. We try to live for God's purposes, not for my purpose. So pay attention. Be attentive. Or ask God to show you, to what are you calling me? What is the purpose that you have for me to do in your reign of God? Then the second part is that we are sent. That's the other part. We are sent by God to go into the world. The Greek word apostolain is the word apostle, which means one who is sent. The root of that word is like uh, to be posted. When you use to post a letter, all of us in a sense are letters written by Jesus Christ, posted and sent out into the world. And Jesus writes in each of our lives something different, something only you can reveal to the world in the way that God made you to do so and in the situation in which God has placed you. So we are all sent. And what does Jesus tell his apostles as he sends them? Take a walking stick and wear sandals. These are two things that are needed for movement. So part of the Christian life is that we are sent on mission, intentional missionary disciples. We are sent by Jesus to go do something. So it's one thing to pray and contemplate. In the Bible, there is no one who does not have an encounter with God who does not also get a vocation or a mission. So this Sunday at Mass, we receive our Holy Lord, His body and blood. We have an encounter with Him. You've been summoned to come to Mass, to meet the Lord, to encounter communion. And then from there, we are sent. Go forth into the world. Proclaim the good news by your life. So this week, be called by God, be sent by God, and then you'll know God's joy. God bless you. Have a good week.